Can you ask him to get me a sweater like that? If it's better. Can you ask him to get me a sweater? Yeah, so she does negative muscle. Yeah, but like he was wearing a t shirt yesterday. I want a sweater. Have we not started? We have like we have like um what time have we taken? Twenty nine minutes now. I'm not shut down. I just wanna make sure I have my time here. No, we just wanna make sure you're not giving us a sweater. Oh yes, 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 I think that's the problem. What is it? Yeah, you won't you won't get it. No, man, why, why? As soon as my supplier. Mm. Oh, you've got suppliers? Yeah, for, the, for this, because I just want to do the printing. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I mean, color, I like it on a black and white. I like my things black and white. Like me. Maybe crazy girls. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> oh, here's another thing. I spoke to Nurem. This is so, this the, wait, only, wait, you, the only one I'm Are you dressed in the name? No. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we need to establish something. Don't worry, I'm gonna hook, hook you guys. I'm gonna hook you guys up. Why you guys? Me only. Oh, no. He's not delivered. <laughs>
God for myself. Okay. You know, other than you know the whole going church vibes and everything. Mm-hmm. So I remember giving this kid a, a, a CD of like I think it was a mixtape or something, but it had like two, three, five songs like, mm-hmm. in it. Two, three, five. Which yeah. Which number? I don't know, but then it had songs. In it. But Some my way, song, somehow. But my okay. song. Yeah. <laughs> they invite home. I expected feedback the next Sunday. He um, just gave it back to me. I was like, I didn't listen to this. Um, my parents said it's not good music. Okay. It's like, okay, dang. So while I was still at that, a friend of mine in church introduced me to uh, Lecrae. Okay. So he gave me Lecrae music and I listened to Lecrae and I had so much influence from the industry that was happening at the time, the 50s, the game, G Unit, uh, was the 50s was the hottest rapper around 2000. So I had that, fi- I had that 50, that 50 G Unit vibe going on. Uh-huh. So I met, uh, I got to listen to the crate, and he was saying the direct opposite of what 50 was talking about. Like, you're not the man because you drive. You know, because you're not from the room. Because you're flashing. And, and, and I kind of realized that I'm not like 50. Uh-huh. I'm not from the hood. I never sold drugs. Uh-huh. So I was like, dang, I want to do what the Lecrae is doing. Because I also want to um, incorporate my faith with my music. Okay. Because I, I, I figured out I couldn't just quit music. Music was the only uh, place where I could go and like feel, still feel alive. Uh-huh. So, uh, I started getting to know of that music, the Cray, I got to meet the truth, I got to meet the whole 116 clip. Okay. Then bang, I was like, okay, now I have to do this. You know, started doing my own thing, then wrote my first album, then bang, CHH. That's how I and did. that's how you wrote. I got to be. Yeah. Okay, so moving from that spectrum to where you are now, what would you say? Like, how have you grown into being the being that you are now? Because We've seen these people phase out, we've seen like, you know, as an artist, some people burn out, some people are on some, yeah, I can't do it no more. And then also, I think it's harder for you guys in the rap game, being in gospel, because next thing you have, you guys being accused of, here you are being contradictory, which God are you actually rapping to? You understand all of those things, like, how have you balanced all of those things together? Um, I won't lie, when I, when I just... I uh, told myself that you know, I want to be a Christian rapper. I didn't really know what it was about. Okay. But I knew that it's a, it's a, uh, I was gonna be a rapper that talks about Jesus. But outside of that, I also need to be the guy that he is, he is the guy. Okay. And he is the Christian. He's not just a hip hop artist that talks about God and you know his faith and that's really just you know. But I took like, um, let me say ten, uh, ten steps back. In terms of the yeah. industry, you know, okay. people are like, uh, what, what the hell are you doing? It's like, we don't know this. What's that, bro? Uh-huh. But I feel like with Christian hip hop, it, it being different, and you know, not so many people in Swaziland have tapped into the genre. Mm-hmm. I took uh, 100 steps forward. So I feel like I'm in the best position I could have been if I was a mainstream artist. Oh, you know what I'm okay. saying? So to deal with the whole drama, I think it's basically, you know, when you know what you want and you really believe that God has so much in store for you, uh, you're able to deal with whatever. So people face, I think, because some people, um, they really don't have the God is should, should be the center of everything, you know? Oh, they feel like okay. the way, no, they lose the focus. You know, I'm going to do this for, for myself. And then when things go south, they feel like, oh God, this is what Christian hip hop has, or this is how Christianity uh, and faith has to do it. Uh-huh. I'm done. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really that person. You know, I'm still here because I feel you like you know, they are going to be ups and downs. Yeah. You know, not only me, there's so many people who are in the Bible that they went through so much. Mm-hmm. And then in the day, they still kept their faith. So why not me? Why not you? Who's been, who's been your biggest influencer? In the music game. Let's start locally and then go out. Uh, locally, basically, it has to be courtesy of hip hop. I look up to that Black like, Superman dude. Hey! <laughs> I mean, courtesy has done a lot. He was there before I even recorded my first single. Okay. Even before I had the whole switch going on, courtesy was there on my TV, in the papers. Everywhere. Curtis used to come to my school and I was a stan, bro. Like he was there like Curtis. Stan one Like that. Yeah. I wanted to be that that guy. And as time progresses, he, he has really turned himself into a brand. And I think 
I won't lie. Uh, I am copying and pasting that dude. He's doing so much for hip hop himself, and you know, just him being courtesy of hip hop. We don't talk of courtesy. We talk of courtesy. We talk about legend. He's, uh, he's, 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 he's somebody. So. Locally, it's him. I uh, don't disrespect to anybody else, but the courtesy is, is that dude. That's what you stick in I with. think uh, on the producer side, uh, it definitely has to be Subjects. Subjects really was able to incorporate me and my sound in the genre, and he's really like that big But then we go to the States. I won't die. I won't die. You're even skipping South Africa, you're going to the States. Okay, fine. Oh, so, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> South Africa. Um, Right now, uh -huh. it's the, the past few years, it's definitely been the super level. Is that what you got a big ego to? AKA is... Is that what you got a big ego to though? I ain't got an ego. Uh. I'm just confident. <laughs> <laughs> So sure. Super Mega, I think at, at, at any stage I used to listen to so much Pro K. Pro K was okay. like big dude at the time. So in the States, uh, 50, uh, 50 most definitely. I think I, I still have the you know, like 50 some uh, uh, type of thing in me, but then I had to find KMP or 21 uh, questions 20, type? 21 questions. Are you sure 21 questions? 21 questions. No, but like you may sorry. never know. People will answer. Yeah, I am. No, 21 questions. Just 21 questions. I, I used to like, you know, that song. But then, then, uh, 50, then, uh, of course, I need to have the Christian hip hop. So, yeah, it's a little bit tight, but I have, I have the truth. Uh -huh. I have crazy, the prey. Uh, then, 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 Anyway, <clears throat> so now let's move away from your music into your academics. You've been telling, like, you've been telling me you were like, you want some, hey, you don't want to be that switch that doesn't, like, who actually did something and tried, other than being the switch loving feeling. Ah, bro, now we see you in the streets, you know, ah, bega, no, no. Understand. So, what's, what's the deal between you and your academics and handling that with your music right now? Um, it's it's really on some other tip because um, you know when you when you, when you go to school you really feel like you know you're just going to school because your parents just want you to go to school, yeah. paying school fees. Mm -hmm. Then we, we live in a time whereby really people are really getting leveled out here. Mm. People are getting degrees, honors, masters, PhDs, and I didn't want to be that dude from the hood that. You know, just keeps doing rap, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, I don't live the type of life that I want. Is it worth it? Going to school? No, like get acquiring that degree. For me, it is. It's something you fall back on. Okay. And basically, I wanna. I don't. I don't believe that God just wants me to do uh, hip hop. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I feel like there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. I can't just skip around saying oh, I'm going to be a hip hop artist. And I feel like. Me being in school, I inspire, I inspire more young, young kids. So you can actually yeah. do it for you know, like yo guys. Get, get schooled up, you know. Uh -huh. um, you know, because at the end of the day, I feel like I'm cautious of what's gonna happen in the future. Whereby I know that Swazi Swazi music is not for anybody, mm. and uh, I can't be the dude that uh, I'd rather be that dude. Uh -huh. That makes twenty thousand a month. Yeah. Then being switch is now making less than twenty k a year. Of music. That's a sad reality that we see on channel. It's the truth. Uh -huh. I don't know how many, how much money other artists make. Uh -huh. For me, I don't. You'd need rather be on the safer side. Safer side of things. Not good to you don't like it, but it's more on. I know what I'm about. I know what I'm about. Okay. I don't, don't want to be a broke dude. What is it that you do again, by the way? Um, I'm at the University of Swaziland. This is going to be final year, uh -huh. 2019. Okay. I do social sciences, yes. and my majors are politics and sociology. Yeah, I said it's sociology. Politics. Not sociology. sociology. Yeah. Uh, politics. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Let's let let let's just come again with the politics because you met. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Okay, let's let's tap into the politics side of it because you just mentioned Guti. You know the industry, like Kaya, doesn't really let or allow the other artists to actually venture into that. Do you think if we were more supported, mostly as the youth, do you think if we were mostly supported into the arts here at home, do you think maybe we might be doing as well as our neighboring country, South Africa, or way better than them? Because obviously for them, they believe in democracy, right? But then even if you can take that away, we see that their government actually assist and everything like this is tapping into politics like what's your view around that area um locally we're not really we don't have that much support mm -hmm. from the corporates from the government so we still I, I don't know like i thought they were making a bill about uh, the copyright bill mm -hmm. but it, it's not really helping anybody you get it, you get why do you think what do you think they we are so engulfed by them trying to protect us from the outside world. Uh, you mean the government? The elders. Let's, let's the not elders. even say the government. The elders. The elders. Yes. Um, I don't know why we are so much protect, but I, I I love the fact that you know we're able to keep our culture. Mm -hmm. You know, most of our culture is really keeping us, you know, protected from a lot of things. But then at the same time, we're not progressing. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're talking about the music context. Mm -hmm. We we as artists are suffering. You know, you like locally. I don't know anybody. You know, Respect, mm. who's living like that life of an artist just to say uh actually is never die you understand like everybody's on some I'm, I'm not trying to be the dude that like no shade thrown at yeah, anybody i'm not trying to be the dude that's gonna have to wait um for, for someone to call me to mm. let them make dough okay mm -hmm. we're working out here we're putting in the work but nothing is coming back so I'm protecting myself from that. I don't want to be like a dude that struggling. My grandfather struggled. My pop struggled. I don't want to struggle. You don't want that line. I don't want my kids to struggle. My whole, my whole. Kids. It, does yeah. that? Okay. Now yeah, that's, that's you the wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You mentioned 21 questions, and now you handling kids. Are you planning? Are you telling for something? Yeah, I'm saying <laughs> I am gonna get married. Yeah. I, am, I am gonna have a wife. I am going to have kids, uh, I am going to be a great father. But like, the, like, do we have like a line of, there's someone here now, or there's nah, nah, potential nah. on some, no, I, I see her. No, nah, no, nah, I, That's I, the wifey right there. I'm still, no shout outs. I'm still praying to God about it now. Uh, I know that my wife is somewhere out there, is probably uh, doing her high school, because, you know, I'm going to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I'm ready, she's gonna be there. Uh -huh. She's gonna be there though. So you're you you wanna go up to be coming a family man? From where? Like where's that influence coming from? Um, is, it, is it from what you see from your dad or what you see from your mom? I grew up without my pop. Mm -hmm. But not that he's dead or what? He and my mom separated when Okay. I don't know why. You know. And once I started knowing uh, why my pops wasn't around, mm -hmm. why his pops wasn't around, mm -hmm. why my mom has sisters and brothers, different mothers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So my grandfather had so many wives, my pops also had so many wives, and now I figured out I didn't grow up you know, in a, in a, in a good space mm -hmm. as a kid. Mm -hmm. you know, now I'm looking at the fact that I want to change that, you know, because I had a hard time growing up to me because, you know, certain things I couldn't tell my mom, mm -hmm. the certain things that happened to me, uh, especially like being bullied, I couldn't tell my mom that I was being bullied in school, mm -hmm. those kind of vibes. But now I want to be that father to my kids that's going to be there, that's the influence. I'm trying to change the norm, mm -hmm. you know, if, if right now I'll be having a baby mama, I'm definitely thinking, oh yeah, we're about to separate, uh, things are not going well, mm -hmm. then I move on, then my mm -hmm. kids like, hey, they can accompany each other, put them on some step mom and cool, like, I don't want that. You, you just want everything to become a human. Right, yeah. Right. Okay. So help me God. Well, speaking about that, you are here, yeah, and 
you, you mentioned a couple of people who were not within your industry. With the youth that's coming up and how we've seen people actually get rejected into the industry as to doing something as odd as, no, I like AKA, I listen to AKA, but however, I know what my skis is about. Like, what, what would you say to the next person who doesn't entirely understand or have the same mindset as you? Um, towards having, like, you can be a bunch of skis, like you're not conforming to the world really, but you're skis, like. I just want to know what basically is happening in the world, mm -hmm. around me. Because one thing that I don't want to happen like me or my music or my craft is that I'm um, boxed in. Ah. You understand? Okay. Um, Removing the four walls. Yeah, I don't want to be boxed in to say, you know, this, this is what I'm going to keep doing. You know, because we, we sh I, I believe that if God created everything, hmm. then I should be able to do everything myself. Okay. You know, I shouldn't be boxed in to, to the sense that I don't know what's hard in hip hop right now. Mm. I was just, I was just uh, watching a video, mm. and I saw that um, people don't dare anymore. I don't know what this this dance is called, but you just go. Oh yeah! I was learning how to do that, and it looks so cool. And I'm it is. It's the coolest. I don't know what the dance is called. Uh, we need to figure it out. Yeah, you Both when I will yeah. book will. I saw. I saw you. you know, taking, uh, <laughs> video of it. I was watching you. Know, your, 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 oh, how? So I saw the like, A, A, A. And, and AK was doing it on, on that free video. Uh -huh. I was like, dang. So if. And I, for him to do it, you're probably like, now I want to do it for real. I want to do it in uh -huh. church. Or for, for, not even in church, but also when I perform. Because it's the hardest dance. And when people feel like, oh, so I can do it, I can do it too. Uh -huh. you know, same thing with the sound. Uh -huh. If I'm just going to be like, the, you know, what's hard? Trap music is hard these days. Uh -huh. You know, if I went there, was a dorm movie. Dorm is hard these days. You don't put gospel in dorm. It doesn't make the genre boring. Because people really associate Jesus as boring. Mm. The church is boring, mm. the church is just, you know, pieces, you know, like, uh, you know, that type it's, of you, you don't, It's not the whole religion, but now it's more of a lifestyle type thing. It's there. And you kind of, uh, hip hop is a culture of this whole thing. Okay, no problem that's why, then. That's why I'm influenced in the way I'm dressed. It's okay. hip hop. It's, it's not the church. No, what's even if you were forced to go to church right now, you'd still be comfortable as you know this is me, guys. And, and I will not hide it from anyone. I've been nice because that's how church is accepted as for me like this. I don't I don't wear a suit to church. For me. Because I, I feel uncomfortable. So shouldn't I go to church and, and listen to the word of God and try to find Jesus because I can't wear a suit to church? Because I can find Jesus like this. I'm not I'm not restricted. Okay, no problem. As we are wrapping up right now, what let, let, let me just ask about either your favorite verse or that one verse that's actually kept you going. Even and also like because you actually mentioned Gucci, like kept you going with the fact that Gucci now you're bringing up an, uh, another album, right? And I told you, like what's from that last project to here? What's the one verse that actually kept you coming through? Um. Basically, for me, the first album, you know, I was trying to just introduce myself into the genre. Mm -hmm. The second album was more or less like, yo, I'm still here and I'm working in faith. Okay. Now, you is basically me telling stories about my life, my personal life, as to how it will fit in your space, okay. how you understand those kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. But the first that we uh, is keeping me um, in, you know, the faith, in the music, and just trying to understand where I'm trying to go. As far as far as the book of Philippians, uh, it's 121. Uh, it goes for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So basically, if you switch it up like you did when we were talking the other time, you say, um, to die is gain and to live is Christ. So yeah. It just makes sense because I'm alive because Jesus died for me. I was forgiven for all my sins. Mm -hmm. And when I die, which is like the ultimate goal is to see him. Mm -hmm. So I'm still gaining at the end of the day. I might yeah. suffer here, but I'm living. For Basically some your past self has died and yeah. then now you're living in Christ. In Christ. Okay. And then when we die, we still believe that we're going to be with God. And that's like the ultimate goal. So I'm still gaining. So to die is gain. Like nobody wants to die. But death at the end of the day is going to be gain. It's good. 
It's gonna be game. So yeah, you are from working on a couple of songs and um, when is it dropping? I aim to drop it next year. You know, right about the same time as I as I graduate. Hey, so hey, it's just gonna be like a crazy time for me, uh -huh. you know, because I'm gonna be just like going all out. Mm. You know, so yeah, I'm just you know putting in the songs together right now, and I feel like it might be the last album because after that I'm going corporate. I might get a job, man, to five. And, you know, oh. you know, and then what about your fans? Uh, my fans? Are you just leaving them like that, or it's on some okay, guys? Let's just focus on this, but then I'll still. Honestly, guys, more or less, like guys, yeah, the hobby is done. It's not my career. The hobby is done. I hope they understand. I hope the they understand. The hobby is done, but uh -huh. I'm on to other things. What if, I, what if I just become an ambassador? I have to. Mm -hmm. So I can the United States. I can't really enjoy that. It's going to be like several And that's it. But in that, no problem. Let's do what I can do. Let's do other stuff. Dude, thank you so very much for being here, by the way. And we appreciate your time and your. Oh my goodness, I almost don't want that, almost bit my tongue off. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, yes, guys, it's been real with Switch. Roar, beautiful, uncut, and yeah. Tune in next time. Bye! From the crowns, everything else was still the same day. I was still not the man, but I've lived to see all my dreams come true like all.